What's up, Ma? Look, I made it, Ma. I got cameras on me. <laughs> look at my, look, take a picture, Ma. You ever thought I'm gonna make it here? No, you never thought I'm gonna make it this far, right? I need a boat or I need a car. I'm coming to town, celebrities coming. You gotta take them out. My entire team that's always behind me. I think everything is a surprise. Every day is a surprise. It don't matter how much money you have. You have no money, but you have a reputation. This is what my vision in life is. I like where everybody's happy. It's not just me and then one person feels some type of way. Everybody could be in the same type of mode and then we just gotta keep going. Hey guys, we're here with Toby, my first interview couple of questions she wants to ask and I'm a little nervous but we'll make it. You're doing great. All right let's do it. All right so we got some Avi and Co questions to start us off. So I think I could speak on behalf of the majority of our team that we really admire that you're the type of CEO that really takes a huge part in our company. You're there for company parties, birthdays, encouraging everyone and you do simple things like just saying hello when you walk into the office when you're here. So what made you decide this is the type of leader that I want to be? I don't think it was a decision. I don't think there's another option because I always wanted this to be a family style business where everybody feel good and I, I'm just being me. It's not, not, I don't feel anything special by being in company dinners and, and events we have and birthdays just like we had right now. I feel it's something very natural. I feel like you guys are there for me uh, my entire day. I see you guys more than I see my own family. My entire team that's always behind me. It's a pleasure being and doing what I do. So what has surprised you most in starting Avi & Co? I think everything is a surprise. Every day is a surprise. I think you shouldn't forget where you came from. And with that both, every day is a surprise. It's like, it's just keep coming. Surprises is good, bad, everything comes together. You just gotta be able to handle everything. How do you solve problems when they arise? First, I take a breather. I think about it. I don't rush into decisions. I find the best, fastest option to solve the problem. I try to think about what's the smart way of fixing things and how fast I can fix it and what's the collateral damage and just do the best I can for people before before me. Just I like where everybody is happy. It's not just me and then one person feels some type of way. I try to be as fair as it gets in business, in life, in any situation. What are some of your company values? The honesty. Everybody here, everybody we picked and choose, everybody that was hired in the company they just like me like you can have two different types in the company because it's a one one mobile that goes forward you know one wheel falls off you you, you stop driving so everybody could be in the same type of mode and we just gotta keep going what do you think sets our company apart from others in the watch industry i think there's a lot of watch dealers especially now before COVID. when COVID hit watches just started being so expensive and so ridiculous where Obviously, I, I, I sell what I believe and I always try to do the best as far as selling the right items to the customers at the right prices where if in case something happens that they need help or, or, or whatever not be for them not to take big losses and try to be there for people. How have your views about the market changed from pre-COVID to now? Finally, the hype is over where I believe people are really thinking about what they want to bid before people would buy watches just to make money. So this sets us different, the quality of service we give, not just when you buy, it's when later with repairs, with polishing, with any situation, upgrading, or you want to sell your watch or you want to consign us the watch. And you know, the biggest thing here is I feel we built a place, forget watches, forget diamonds, we built a trustworthy place where any business can be conducted. I don't care what it is. The honesty is everything in a person. If you're honest, you can do anything with that person. So whether it's people calling me, I need you to help me book, uh, book a PJ, or I need a boat, or I need a car, I'm coming to town, celebrities coming, you gotta take them out. You know, you gotta be there for them, show them love. So, uh, all that stuff, this is very, very important to be there for, for, for your customers entirely, whether they're celebrity or not. And you know, anybody spends a dollar with you, you gotta appreciate it and always look. You know, it's just, it's a happy thing when you, when you have a relationship rather than just sell something and not be with the customer. If watches and jewelry didn't work out, what would your have career path have been? When I was, honestly, when I was growing up, my dream was to be a DJ. I remember they, my parents bought me for my bar mitzvah this stereo. Uh, it was a high-end stereo. They came, they bought it from the United States, okay. uh, really with loud music. And back in the day growing up, people didn't have that. So when I had this, I, I, I'm still in love with music. 
I have a very bad, a big passion to music. Uh, I always with a lot of music artists. I, when I'm in the studio with them, I just enjoy it. I feel like it's home. So I have something very special for music. If it wasn't diamonds, if it wasn't watches, it would be anything to do with sales and relationships. What are the biggest challenges you face to get to your next career goal? The biggest challenge right now, first of all, I have Miami right in front of me. Uh, we're opening a store in the design district. I think it's a big, big achievement that we were able to sign a lease because as you know, we're not, we're not authorized dealers for Rolex or any of these brands, but uh, in the design district, you have to be authorized dealers right. in order to be able to have a store with them. And we found a store location. Uh, we're privately owned, we, we doing renovation. I have 30 days from now to finish a store. I'm planning on the biggest grand opening you've ever seen. This is my dream always to make a big grand opening. Uh, to bring everybody, it's like my birthday. My birthday is always is a one month birthday. Everybody enjoys, my family, my friends. It's like a festival, July. So this is one of my biggest uh, challenges right now that I'm very nervous and I hope it works the way I really want it to work. Uh, it's a dream come true. And another thing is the achievement after that is opening more stores and I want to really come out of the Diamond District. I feel like we outgrew this place. I feel like our company should be somewhere by Madison, somewhere by Fifth Avenue, so somewhere next to all the big brands that build their name. I think we finally can say that we have a real brand. You have a very supportive family. Obviously you work with your, your parents and your brother. What do you look for in a teammate and a friend? What I look for a teammate, just be real with me. I expect to get what I give. I give you my heart, I expect you to give me your heart. I help you, I expect you to help me. I'm a real friend, I expect you to be a friend. I like real people next to me. A good name is better than good oil. Good oil is money. So they say in the tour, and I, and I think that a good name is much better than money. No matter how much money you have, you have no money, but you have a reputation. You have something that people can talk about. This is, this is what my vision in life is. This is how I want to be gone the next God knows how long. I want my kids to memorize me as this guy was good, this guy was doing good. Not about this guy had so much money and he, and, and he was a party head. That's not what I want, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I want, I want, I want, to, I want to live a good, uh, a good name after me when, when time come. Who do you look up for, for inspiration? Every conversation I have with anybody, I always listen. I always learn from everybody because a guy, it can be a motivation, can speak, it can give you basic stuff that you might connect to, or it can be somebody that really doesn't talk a lot and gives you just a small example of, of, of a learning life. Anybody can motivate me. What's the best advice someone's ever given you? Don't be right, be smart. That's my rabbi, Rabbi Vaklin. How do you stay motivated? I'm my own boss, basically. Don't cry over milk that the, the, the was spilled. You can't do nothing about it, it happened. How can you fix it now? That's the motivation. Wake up in the morning, go to work, come back, see my beautiful five kids, my wife. Next day, repeat. Now we have a lot of traveling, a lot of flights. So life is beautiful. You know, I love what I do. And that's the most important thing. Love what you do. For people looking to do what you do, what do you think is the most important skill a CEO should have? Be there for your people. Like if they need you, be there for them, regardless of what it is. As much as you can, whether it's an opinion, whether it's an advice, just just be there for your people and be real again. How much time are you on your phone for calls and social media? You know, my day gets so busy because every phone call and every text message I get is so important. I'm on the phone a lot. As soon as I wake up, as soon as as, as far as I go to sleep, it's in my hand. I I just stay updated. I don't I don't think I'm not on my phone for, for no reason. There's always a reason why I'm on the phone. There's a lot of my, my whole business is on the phone. What do you think is the best watch for a business meeting, vacation, formal occasion, everyday wear? Everyone wants to know your, your picks. Everything has to do with the wrist and your lifestyle. Like I have a big wrist. I can't wear Rolex uh, presidentials. They did 40, they did 41. I don't feel right with them. Uh, on some people it looks amazing. I love the watch. So everybody, it's, it's, it's about your taste. Mm -hmm. I think any watch that we have an in inventory that we own in the store, it's all, it's all the right decisions because I kind of buy these watches upon my taste and upon mm -hmm. what I think is uh, people like and market. I don't buy things because just to buy them. Mm -hmm. I buy the right items where customers would like it. So it's different watches, different styles. There is no like the best or any watch we sell is the best. It's top category, triple A. What would you say is your favorite one, if you had to pick one? I love uh, the Richard Mills. I love them because they're big, they're comfortable. I love the Sky Dweller. Mm -hmm. I like the Blink. Your go-to. <laughs> I love the Blink, you know. Um, no more yeah. Rolex, no more AP, no more Richard Milley. Avi and Co coming soon. Yes. <laughs>
If you could trade places with anyone for a day, who would it be and why? My five month old baby. Aww. When you don't care about nothing, you just wake up and you <laughs> smile and you grab your dad. And this, 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 this is the only people other than that, I wouldn't trade my day for nothing. I love my days. Tell everybody what's in store for Avi and Co. A lot of coming soon. We are expanding. We're coming to different cities, different states, hopefully different countries. We're going in heavy on diamonds. We're going to have uh, diamonds by Avi and Co. coming soon. All GIA certified stones, top notch, DEF colors, VVSs, VSs. No extra qualities that need extra conversations. It's going to be the best of the best. So you want to shop with confidence. You want to buy the right thing. You want to have the right prices. You got to come to us. And I'm saying it proudly because I've been there for almost 20 years now in this industry. I just feel like you have to be good everywhere. No matter since the day you wake up, you have to be a good son. You have to be a good father, you have to be a good husband, you have to be a good boss. You just gotta be good. At the end of the day, be good and good will come to you. Good, good takes good. Once you have good, it always recognizes good. <laughs> we build a brand, a trustworthy brand where people will feel comfortable to do transactions with us. That's my go-to. Anything, anything we would open with that brand now, I think we established the name where we, we there. Thank you so all much right. for answering questions. Thank you all guys. You my first interview, I hope I did good. You did. I don't know, hopefully we do more. <laughs> Avi and Cole, the only way to go.